when did redditors started disliking elon musk back in maybe 2018 to 2020 meme subreddits were very fond of him thinking he was relatable and a cool guy with cool gadgets when did his reputation turn negative i remember eight years ago when the internet loved elon musk and conservatives hated him with a passion how the turntables when did he call those scuba divers pedophiles who were rescuing the kids trapped in that thailand cave i think it was 2018 that's when he lost me once upon a time he did an interview about how no engineer would sign on to be his head engineer for spacex said all of the good ones wouldn't take the job and no sense in hiring a bad one i'm a mechanical engineer no person in the field turns down that job unless a lawn was that insufferable from my perspective it feels like he had an excellent marketing team for many years who were able to push the narrative that he was a cool genius making robots and rockets. He was supposedly a real-life Tony Stark. But then he started to speak for himself more and more, and we all got to see what type of person he really is. The best example is like others have already pointed out, when he got in that weird one-sided argument with the diver saving those trapped kids. He acted like a petulant child wanting petty revenge, just because the diver said he didn't want or need Alon's help. Plus I think more people are aware now that he's not some humble self-made man. He inherited a ludicrous amount of money from his parents owning an emerald mine. His energy went from producing cleaner vehicles that reduce traffic accidents to being very concerned with people not being able to freely use slurs and deny the holocaust. He started becoming a little cringy when he went on Joe Rogan's show and weirdly smoked the joint. What confirmed it was the titan stuck in the cave saga. Buying Twitter somehow broke him or at least made it more public turned into a pro-Russian and pro-MAGA apologist. He was obviously a complete bag of shit fraud all along, as somebody that spent so long trying to get people to realize that a number of years ago, I can confirm that my job became much much easier around the time he called that rescue bloke in Thailand a pedophile. By the time he bought Twitter everyone that was going to think he was awful already did. If anyone is wondering, the first huge red flag was that he consistently took credit for things he paid other people to do. He reveled in the genius inventor brand the internet assigned him in a really tacky thick pop star kind of way actively trying to conceal the truth. He hadn't invented anything yet consistently deceived people and lent into the brand. He also spoke in a way that mimicked a thick person's idea of a genius knowing he could manipulate that demographic. He was acting and trying not to get caught out. In reality he is just a deeply mediocre psychopath spoilt brat and I never saw any evidence to discount that diagnosis. Twitter should be open to all speech proceeds to forward complete bullshit tweets about Pelosi's husband and hires Don Lemon, but then doesn't like what he said and bans the interview. The guy is a total hypocrite and a swipe. He badly overpaid for Twitter and only closed it because he legally bound himself. Anti-vax, anti-Semitic, Cybertruck.replacement theory. You name it. He's had an impressive douche streak the last few years. When he started being more outspoken about being a terrible human being and a massive hypocrite. When he opened his mouth and went from a person who runs a few impressive tech companies to a white supremacist, replacement theory supporting, thin-skinned free speech absolutist asshole. The anti-Jew thing. Also fucking W the war in Ukraine via Starlink. He stopped supporting Ukraine and gives some support to Russia. Also, his free speech doesn't seem to cover leftists, so seems kind of hypocritical. When he hyped his Hyperloop proposal which was only meant to kill consideration of high-speed rail in CA. I, for one, never liked Muskrat, ever. My friends were mystified as to why. Now they agree. I realized that he was South African, but hadn't lived in the country since around 1995 which is a white South African man is very suspicious. When he started using his fame to promote dog crypto. When he fired the marketing company that constantly pumped out the image he was a cool guy with cool gadgets. Real life Iron Man dumb bastard. Now he's just known for what he is, a spoiled, entitled, diluted, arrogant, fragile, white supremacist, dipshit. The day he threw a Tesla towards Mars for shits and giggles I decided the guy was a twat. I never understood how he got an appreciable percentage of our fucking space program in his his grasp until I found out that he just bribed the NASA administrator in charge of that shit. Fuck that guy, I hope that not too many astronauts die because of him. I started hating him when he called that diver a pedophile that saved those kids in the cave. All because the dude said his idea won't work. Musk is quite stupid. He lucked into wealth and pays people to do the heavy thinking for him. The pedo guy incident is generally considered the turning point where he first revealed his true douche noodle self to a wide audience. When he started saying stupid and ridiculous shit. Previously, 
when he said dumb shit it was about his own companies and we all got used to a long time and a long vision dot if he said we will have this in a year and it will do this then it probably took two years and maybe it did the thing or maybe it only did most of the thing dot but then he started saying dumb shit about other things like calling cave rescuers pedophiles dot or buying twitter and reinstating nazis and banning people who complain about the nazis not a good look when he started doing and saying stupid shit when he came out Republican. Well, he is an egotistical asset. Oops, there goes my ex-account.